I am now once again sitting at Lake Wanaka, just reading my books and planning my itinerary for the next days. I realized that driving 1230 kilometers is going to take a while. I'm going to split it up to like three days of driving with a day of not driving in between because, well, I probably couldn't do this on just one day. So I'll head back to Christchurch, which I did not want because I do not really like Christchurch, but I'll just spend the night there. Then head up to Picton again, to the Tombstone Backpackers, where I did the, the muscle video. So I might do that again. Stay there for two nights and then head up to Taupo, where I'll be before Monday. I just planned like one or two extra days, because my car might break down somewhere and I don't want to be late to my interview. Kinda sucks, because I thought I had like two, maybe three more nights here in Wanaka, or could see like... Mount Cook, um, Lake Tekapo on the way up there, but it's just not possible, I think. So I have to do this on the second time I'm here. I've now done like half of the South Island and we'll come back for the rest later on. Pretty boring stuff and I'll probably show you the cinema now. So this place is seriously awesome. Right here they have like, um, on all the benches there are old movie posters class that this is so cool. And of course, a lot of other movie stuff. Yeah, yeah. The screening room is supposed to be even more awesome. There's a car in there and a lot of couches and just a second, still the, the other movies on. This is seriously so relaxed but already completely packed. Um, it's not too big a cinema, but it's fully booked, so I just took like one of the last remaining seats, I think. Really? And that car over there is totally red. Not red, but red. That was seriously so good. Um, so I learned that it's not like an international film, it's a Maori film uh, movie. So it's about the Maori. And it's this really sweet story about, well, a boy, obviously, and his struggle with life and family and the hopelessness of his whole situation. And it's really charming. I can't even tell if it's supposed to be like a comedy or a sad story. The, the overall tone is sad, but there are a lot of scenes where you just have to laugh about it. And it's really worth watching. Not even for the culture, but it's a really good movie. So if it ever comes out outside of New Zealand, which I kind of doubt, um, Go watch it. It's really, really good. And um, the cinema was, of course, another tidbit of awesomeness to this because it's just, I've never seen a, a, a movie theater that was that relaxed. So that was a great and awesome day, I think. And now enough of that.